patients of Palisa Hospital in Palisa District have appealed to the Minister of Health to address key challenges they face, including stinking latrines, equally smelly beddings and inadequate supplies of medicine. The Minister, Dr. Eliodor Tumwesije, who was visiting the hospital, committed resources to address these challenges and also promised to start a savings and credit cooperative society for nurses as the process for their salary increment progresses. This week, the Minister for Health, Dr. Elioda Tumwesije, visited Palisa Hospital to assess progress on the construction of new hospital buildings after the ministry allocated over 600 million shillings to this renovation and restocking project. The patients here, however, sought the minister's intervention in other healthcare challenges beyond the hospital buildings. They complained of stinking beddings at the hospital, unhygienic latrines, and inadequate medicines. This mattresses are smelling, they are giving us another disease. For example, cholera, typhoid, what? Insects are there. The director at Palisa Hospital said new materials have been ordered and reported that the hospital has already constructed new toilets. He adds that they are planning to educate patients on the proper use of these facilities. Uh, the mattresses, we've got a consignment of mattresses uh, currently, which have been delivered, except they have not assembled the new beds, and the beds, they have not assembled them. The minister said Palisa was given 600 million shillings out of 90 billion dollars that was obtained from the World Bank to construct new buildings. So I'm happy that uh, Palisa was among the first hospitals to be sought about. We put aside 8.2 billion and this 8.2 billion has been put to work on about 17 health facilities, most of them hospitals. The minister also addressed the issue of salary increment for the health workers. He promised to start a savings and credit cooperative society, SACO, next year to insulate nurses from loan sharks and banks. As we are working on uh, ensuring we are getting adequate salaries, we have to look at other interventions that we can cut out that can help the welfare of our staff. And among them, we are thinking of making sure that health workers, we have uh, over 65,000 health workers, if all of them can join a, a SACO, and they contribute very little per mass. The minister will continue the tour of hospitals across the country to assess the progress that has been made since resources were committed by the World Bank and the Health Ministry. Report filed by Dayaswalu Gembe.